Hi guys, this is Anna and I'm here with my update on my metal braces. I think this is my second update uh, about my second appointment after getting braces and I'm here to just let you know about the progress, what I've been noticing, what I've been told and well, things like that. Hope you find this interesting. So today I just had my uh, second appointment with my orthodontist. Uh, it's been uh, six weeks since my, uh, my first appointment and what happened during this appointment was my progress was assessed and I got my bands changed again. Uh, I've gotten some good news in the sense that there has been quite a lot of progress and considering my, uh, my case, uh, this is good progress, which made me really happy. As I've mentioned in some of my earlier videos, my issue was that my teeth are misaligned, some of them severely misaligned, uh, due to a well, lack of space. So I have crowded teeth. This was why I had to get uh, my wisdom teeth out. I've had two removed, still have two more to go. And I'll probably make a video about that when the time comes. I'm still trying to gather some courage before I go through with it because, well, it's not the easiest experience. Uh, the good news I've gotten was that uh, the orthodontist confirmed the progress I was seeing. Uh, while one of my front teeth, which is quite um, misaligned to say so, uh, has made quite a lot of progress these past six weeks, it has made the jump forward, meaning it's no longer sitting uh, behind my teeth, but rather it's more aligned, at least the tip. The root still has uh, a bit more to go, but still, it's progress. And because uh, this particular tooth has made it jump forward, which was something we were all expecting, uh, but not quite soon, maybe in four months with braces. Uh, but because it has done so, because it has progressed in a very positive way, uh, I had uh, my bite lifters removed. Uh, last, uh, the first time I went to get my braces put in on, on the upper side, uh, I had... Um, some material uh, bound to two of my lower molars just to keep my mouth open. Uh, I've read and these are called uh, bite lifters. Basically lifting your bite uh, to keep your mouth open so misaligned teeth that are, well, not able to make the jump forward because of space can do so. And because uh, of the primary issue, my misaligned tooth that would make the jump forward has made a jump forward, I got my bite lifters removed, which is, well, let's say interesting. I didn't get a chance to get used to them because I've had them in for 10 weeks. And uh, versus the braces, which I've become quite used to, those weren't something that I, uh, the bite lifters weren't something that I particularly liked or felt natural. Oh, bee. <laughs> Sorry, lots of bees here. Uh, but I got them removed today, which uh, honestly felt good, but I still have to get accustomed to the, to the way I'm biting right now, because I maybe sort of gotten accustomed to them a little bit, not enough though. So I'm happy I got them removed, because they weren't supposed to sit in there for too long, because they can uh, cause deformities in your other teeth if left in for too long. But only 10 weeks. I had them for only 10 weeks, so that, that was okay. So, a very misaligned tooth made a jump forward and is now somewhat aligned. And I've gotten my bite lifters removed. Also, during this session, uh, I've had my elastic bands changed. 
to be perfectly honest with you, I don't particularly like getting my bands changed. It doesn't hurt per se, actually it doesn't hurt at all, but there's uh, this uh, insane amount of pressure when you get the bands removed and new ones put in. It's like something pushing really hard against your teeth. And because they are in the process of moving, because of the braces themselves, uh, it can feel like a lot. Fortunately, it only takes a few minutes. Uh, it's not painful. I mean, you don't require any medication or anesthesia. And, well, it's over soon. But I don't particularly like it. Getting the braces put in was quite a lot less discomfort than getting the bands changed. But still, there. it's nothing to worry about and nothing excessive. Uh, nothing... Uh, that you don't necessarily not want to do. I'm not sure if I said that right, sorry. Uh, I did ask the orthodontist if he was seeing uh, some of the progress I uh, thought I was seeing. For example, compared to the first month I, I had the braces in, uh, one of my front teeth, which is very misaligned, didn't make quite that much progress. I mean, it did in the first month and I was kind of expecting it to do the same in the second month, but it didn't. It did make progress, but a lot less progress. Uh, still, uh, I did see progress in another part, an area that uh, before braces I didn't think needed that much attention. Uh, so on my upper side here, uh, I didn't have a very aligned my teeth weren't aligned very well, but I did see in these past 10 weeks since my uh, previous appointment that uh, all of these teeth here, well, they've gotten very aligned. And I was wondering if that was something I was seeing or if that was actually happening. The orthodontist did confirm this and it made me really happy. It was a problem I didn't initially knew, know I had. But then I saw the progress and I realized, well, it was a problem, but still, it got fixed, so that made me really happy. If I wasn't seeing progress here, I was happy that I was seeing progress here. All this barking, yes, they're my dogs and they're very active right now. When I started filming this, they were sleeping because it got a little sunny after quite a few days of very cloudy, uh, very sad weather. And right now, I don't know, they're, I think they saw somebody outside uh, the yard or something and they're just barking. So, yes, they're my dogs and they're barking. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, I'm really happy about the progress this month. Uh, the past 10 weeks, well, I've had quite a bit of pain. It was actual, actual pain, I, uh, I'd have to say, not just tenderness. Uh, I did see quite a lot of progress. It was visible even to me. So I'm thinking uh, it was okay that I was feeling that that amount of pain more so than uh, before my uh, my previous appointment. Uh, it was well more like tenderness pain, like a high level of tenderness. I think I'd have to say. Uh, all this is very new to me, the sensations, the feelings are, are very new to me, so I'm really trying my best to, to explain them, to convey them, well, to the best of my, uh, my knowledge. Uh, so I did feel quite a bit of tenderness, especially in my front teeth. Uh, last time, after getting my elastic bands changed, uh, this tenderness slash pain started about four days after, so four days in. Uh, right now I'm still uh, at day one, so I'm wondering if uh, in the next few days I'm gonna start experiencing uh, some tenderness, maybe pain, because I've had my bands changed and they're well tighter right now. We'll see. Um, I'm getting my... Um, wire changed at the next appointment which should be in four six weeks uh, so that's going to be an interesting experience i don't know how that will go so both my bands and my wire will be changed next time so i'm i'm actually eager to see how uh, how that goes how that feels 
and uh, because my dentist was also attending uh, my dentist is always attending during my orthodontist visits because my orthodontist comes from out of town, town and he's collaborating with uh, my dentist's office basically and our other offices we don't actually have an orthodontist based in our city actually most of them are in, in uh, the capital city here I don't know why maybe at one point there wasn't uh, that much demand for braces here but still they're coming from out of town so my dentist was attending and uh, I've gathered enough courage to tell my dentist I want to proceed with the next extractions I still have uh, uh, two wisdom teeth left to get removed it's something I really don't want to do I don't want to do it at all but I was told that um, I have to they could put my braces in even with my wisdom teeth but because they will be shifting with time they have already been shifting my teeth will get even more crowded my progress will be much slower I will have to keep my braces in for much longer if I keep my wisdom teeth my lower wisdom teeth and chances are even with the retainer my teeth will become crooked again with time so all my hard work and all the money I will be paying will be for nothing so I have to get my lower wisdom teeth removed as well I'm thinking of making a video uh, after I begin with the one of my lower teeth I'm not looking forward to it at all So I'm not looking forward to getting my wisdom teeth removed. I had my upper wisdom teeth removed uh, in May, uh, about uh, nine days difference from one another. The first one was, well, okay, during the extraction I didn't feel anything. I told my dentist I don't want to feel any pain. Pain was a no for me. I don't believe in uh, feeling unnecessary pain. And that's one of my <laughs> mottos. <laughs> So he made sure I didn't feel any pain. Uh, after the anesthesia went away, I was in quite a lot of pain for about four hours and nothing. I didn't even take ibuprofen or something for the pain. So my first extraction was, well, okay. And it gave me courage to proceed with the next one. Uh, the second extraction took a lot longer and well, the side effects were oh, so much worse. I was really swollen for seven, eight, nine days. Uh, my swelling started to uh, to go away after days five, six, seven, very slowly. Uh, I was still swollen uh, day nine post extraction for my second wisdom tooth, uh, and by day ten, day ten I was uh, well, quite normal, but still so much swelling, so much sensitivity, so much pain. I was in horrid pain for about five days and well <laughs> that uh, put me off from doing more extractions uh, I couldn't lift uh, I could eat though I was happy I didn't get any infection or any complications so that was nice I think but the pain was horrible and I decided to just put off my next two wisdom teeth extractions just so I could would, uh, recover a little bit uh, forget some of the some of the experience because it was quite negative the experience post extraction uh, and now I think I've forgotten quite a bit of it and uh, well let's just say I'm gathering courage I, so I did talk to my dentist about going for the next extraction I'll be going to the office next week to maybe uh, make an appointment so wish me luck because uh, I might just lose my courage <laughs> and again for those of you interested um, getting my bands changed so my uh, my orthodontist uh, appointment post braces uh, the basic one just getting the bands changed is about 100 Romanian lei here at the office I'm going to which is about $20 so I'm paying $20 every four to six weeks uh, to get my bands changed 
my next appointment in four six weeks when I'm getting my wire and my bands changed will be about thirty dollars. And my braces, just the upper side, uh, were uh, about five hundred dollars to get to put in. Uh, of course, uh, <laughs> conversion is tricky because, uh, well, uh, currency is very, especially uh, this time. I'm happy I did uh, uh, make this decision and went through with it, getting my braces, and I'm happy uh, I'm getting some courage to proceed with uh, the lower part as well, because, well, as we all know, teeth are an investment. Uh, you need nice teeth, uh, but it's more than just aesthetics, it's about function. Teeth serve a lot of functions, uh, from holding your face in place uh, to helping you eat. And having misaligned teeth when you need braces is a source of pain, at least in my case, but I'm sure other people are, have had similar experiences when your teeth are crooked, not just misaligned, but crooked, like uh, my case, well, you start getting pain and that's not okay. Uh, the worst thing is that uh, misaligned teeth will continue to misalign and get even more crooked and eventually you won't be able to clean them well and well, you'll get gum disease and they will fall out. So, getting braces might seem for some, I don't know, um, unnecessary, uh, but because the problems I have been facing and my experience, I realized that it's a must. It's like, uh, well, basic health care. So I'm happy I made this decision. I'm happy I had the support to do so, getting braces. And if you're an adult and one, wondering if you should get braces, even if your teeth are only slightly misaligned, I'd say go for it if your budget allows for it. Plan for it like I did. I did plan for it because it's quite an investment. Uh, but I knew I had to get it done. Sadly, some of us need to get braces, but fortunately they are available, they are effective. Um, you can plan for them as an adult if you couldn't afford to get them as a, as a child or as a teenager. So I think that's, that's okay. I'm getting them as an adult, I'm over 30 and I'm just getting braces. Uh, I think well, they are just important and if you need to get them and can get them, I think you should get them, no matter the age. Uh, what made me change my mind about adult braces was seeing adults with braces. Uh, I was barely 20 and I, and I was tutoring this, uh, this really awesome 8 year old girl and um, at one point I went to her home to tutor her. And, uh, well, their parents had both gotten braces. And uh, that was so much of a shock for me. I thought that you could only get braces when you were young, like 13 or 15 or something like that. Mm. Keep in mind, we don't have uh, this kind of education in schools here. While well, they do teach biology and things like that, they teach a lot of irrelevant information. I wasn't taught relevant information like, uh, well, what is the use of braces? When uh, can you get braces? Uh, what's their purpose? What do they help with? Uh, what are the disadvantages of crooked and misaligned teeth? What could happen if you don't get braces and your teeth align? We don't have that kind of education here. I think uh, that's a big minus. But oh well. So I saw uh, the parents. The mom was 30-something, the dad was over 35, and they both had braces, metal braces as adults. And that came as a shock to me because I didn't think you could even get them past 20 or something. So uh, it helped me challenge the idea, the perception. Uh, and well, I think that was a very good thing. It made me more open-minded and it made me plan for this which I like I said I think getting braces is uh, basic health care and I'm so glad I did I'm so glad I uh, I met open-minded people and I could talk to them about this and become a more open-minded person as well I think it's important and I'm trying to to 
pass this forward. If you have doubts about getting braces as an adult, do get them if you can. I think while the process can be, well, a bit difficult if you need extractions, not just the financial side, but also uh, uh, the extractions, you will be thankful afterwards. I really think so. So do consider this uh, my experience when deciding uh, for yourself whether or not to get the braces. I hope you found this uh, useful, maybe a bit interesting. Uh, like I said in uh, some of my previous videos, uh, when looking to start my journey with adult braces, uh, I did look for other people's experiences online, I watched a lot of videos, I read comments, I read, I read blog posts, uh, everything I could watch and read I did because I was interested in other people's experience. More than, uh, well, basic advice, I was interested in how other people felt about getting braces, felt with the braces, felt after the braces. I was interested uh, in what challenges they faced, uh, if they were grateful or not, if, if they thought it was worth it or not in the end. Uh, and I was looking to learn from them and from their experiences. Uh, there were so many different experiences from different people and I found that really helpful. So I'm putting my experience out there and maybe it will help someone. If it helps at least one person, maybe get a more clear idea, clearer, clearer idea of the process of getting braces as an adult, then I'm happy this will have all been worth it. Again, hope you found this interesting and uh, see you next time. Bye.